I'm turning to this. I really want this blue gone. <laughs> So today we are going to try to get this blue out and dye my hair a different color. I am so tired of this blue, like so tired of this blue you don't even understand. I don't know how long I've had it but it's been too long. I dye my hair like every month and I've had it for so long I'm just tired of it. Before I had this I had half pink, half blue and I wanted to dye it a whole nother color but I couldn't achieve the color because I could not get half of the blue out which is this side which is why it's so darker than this side but yeah that's another story um we got the hair stuff laid out the color and all that and we're gonna try to get this blue out so I'm gonna show you the products and I'm gonna explain what we're gonna be doing and yeah here we go I'll insert the picture of the color I'm going for. But it just so happens that I literally have leftover of all these dyes. So I'm going to be using a pink blush by Adore. Um, I don't even know the brand name. If it's Avatar, Funky Fruit, if that's the color. Oh no, Raspberry Pink is the color. So I'm guessing this is the brand. Another Adore. I usually use sparks if I want my color to last long, but I made the mistake with using the sparks blue that never comes out. And I'm so tired of blue, so I'm gonna try to get this out. So I'm using Cajun Spice. And yeah, I know these are all messed up because they're all used. And this is Scarlet by Kiss. These two are really good brands. If I say these are really good mixing brands. So you always want to use like a heavier color as your base and then these to like get the color you want to mix it with that. That's what I usually do. And this is just some leftover bleach because I'm going to do a bleach bag because I cannot get these stubborn blue out of my hair. However, before we result to the bleach bag, we are going to try one more method that I have not used yet, which is lemon juice, baking soda, and I think you mix it with like your shampoo. So we're gonna go to the dollar store. I'm just gonna buy like any dollar store brand shampoo. So we're gonna go get those supplies. I'll meet y'all guys at the dollar store. We're gonna try one more method before we result, result, blah, blah, before we go to the bleach bag. I, I don't know. All right, so this is the hair section. And I got my supplies. This boy picked black markers and sharpeners. <sighs> Only Jacob. Brand home in the wind, so I'm winded <laughs> knee slapper but yeah there was no lemon juice at this store so i'm praying that my brother comes home and he says he has some lemon juice because he just keeps stuff like that but yeah i'm just gonna show you the shampoo i got and the stuff i'm gonna mix it with so let me get these colors out of here we don't need these right now we don't need bleach either because that's gonna be the last resort but i was thinking if bleach is going to be the last resort, I don't really want to do something damaging like, um, what's it called? Baking soda? I don't want to do something damaging like baking soda because even though it's not as damaging as bleach, I've read reviews and it said it would dry out your hair. So I'm like, I don't want to use this and then go to bleach and it's just going to be too damaging. So I looked up other methods and they said apple cider vinegar. And let me tell you, I absolutely hate, hate the smell of apple cider vinegar. It makes me gag. So you know if I'm turning to this, I really want this. We're going to try like a cap full of that. All right, right now we got the Kiwi Lime Squeeze Clarifying Shampoo. This is Dollar Store brand. This is just Dollar Store. I heard something sparking and I don't want to, you know, blow up. So ho hopefully that's the wind sound. Okay, you know, says removes residue. So anything that says removes and is cheap, buy it. You know, you know, it's going to work good for stripping color. This is just peppermint shampoo. I feel like green just means fresh, 
renew, remove, so you think it will remove color. So we're going to do peppermint. And I like the peppermint smell. Um, this is head and shoulders, which is also a good thing for stripping color, I've heard. So we're just going to mix the shampoos in this bucket thingy. And we're just going to do like a teaspoon or a cap full of apple cider vinegar. It just looks so aesthetically pleasing. I don't know how much we're going to use, I guess, that much. And green on green, you know. Let's see how that looks. Ew, two different greens. Oh, this smells so freaking good. I wish you could smell through a camera. It smells so good. This has eucalyptus. Another thing that's probably good for stripping color. Probably not. But you know, when you hear eucalyptus, you think <sighs> plant. So you know, plant. Natural. Natural. Natural leaving. leaving. Okay, but this looks so freaking. I want to eat it. Now we're going to do. I already smell it. We're gonna do a tea. Cap. Cap. Oh! I'm gonna do a cap full of apple cider vinegar. Please don't get on my hand. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. Cap. It got on my hand. Cap full of apple cider vinegar. Okay, now I'm gonna mix it with this spatula. So I use this when I like dye my hair over the sink or apply anything in my hair over the sink. So I'm gonna use, I'm talking too much. Later, just put the stuff in the hair, they don't care. Okay, bars. I'm gonna start applying. I don't know why I'm applying shampoo with this thingy. something on the floor if you really bother it. Don't be afraid to really get in there. Here's an update. Um, this freaking stings. I don't know if that means it's good or bad, but like my scalp is stinging. Um, it's just like Blistex. When it stings, it's working. That's not always the case, but it's not a bad sting. Like, ooh, ow, rock, rinse it out. It's like you feel it. You know what I mean? You feel it working. So I'm really praying and hoping that when I rinse this out, I see blue down that drain. So we're just gonna hope and pray. And, okay, let's keep waiting. We got like 15 more minutes on the timer, so. I didn't want to get any hair dye in my sink, so I went downstairs to the kitchen. That's why I didn't film me rinsing it out. I'm all out of breath. But literally, I was watching it go down the drain. But it's still freaking blue in it. I look like freaking Maddox. My hair is so damaged. I don't want to bleach it, but I don't want this blue. Look how straight my hair is. I cannot afford to bleach it. I might just throw the colors, collars. I just might throw the colors on top of this and see what I get because I cannot, I cannot bleach it. I look like a 40 year old balding man. I might just be risky and bleach it. I might just, we'll see. Round two, fight. Okay. Hair update. <sighs> ah!
What the heck? Oh my. Freaking idiot. Now you're seeing the reveal. Okay. Hair update. I did not film me rinsing it out because I had to move locations, yada yada, downstairs. I didn't want to get blue in the sink. Okay, I literally watched my color go down the drain. And when I lifted it out, this, it's still freaking blues and purples in it. And it seems like nothing happened. My hair is so damaged, as you can see. Like, I mean, this is just unbrushed, un unmoisturized hair. But still, like, it's so damaged, as you can see. So I really, 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 really don't want to put any more bleach in it. So... With that being said, we're just going to try one more time. This time, I think I'm going to add the baking soda because I do not plan on bleaching my hair. Like, after seeing it, like, this is re this is reality. Like, I'm not bleaching my hair. We're going to just try to make another batch. So, let's go. What the heck? We're going to try to make another batch. Final round. Fight! All right, so... We're gonna see. Ta da! Womp. Still freaking blue and purple and straight and damaged. So, okay. I got an idea. Right now, I decided we are going to just put the hair dye on top of the color I have right now and rock with it. I believe that some parts are light enough to be okay. So I just separated the um, the parts that I'm going to be dyeing, obviously. So this is the color of it. It has a lot of lights in there. So at least some pinks would show up. Sorry about the acne, but yeah. Okay, we're going to mix the colors right now. Schmuck back over the sink, and we're going to try to mix the colors as well as we can. So we have, I already said the colors. I really want a pink. This is so annoying, like, it's not a lot at all, and it's making me mad. We don't have a lot of hair to dye, though, so it's okay, and we have four colors, so. Ew, that's a weird sound. Oh, it just got dyed on me. We're really doing this, you know? Scarlet. Next. Oh yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot. So I guess for every, we're just gonna say that was four. Four pumps of pink. We're gonna do two pumps of orange. Boom. All right, now let's start with pink again. I recommend gloves, I have gloves. I'm just so lazy. Oh, so this doesn't come with a pump, so we're just gonna pour. Seems like enough. And I guess that was equivalent to four puffs, pumps, whatever. And we're just gonna do two of these. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. We need a lot more color than that. So we're gonna try to do all the pink. Okay. No, it's falling. I am such a wreck. And it just. <laughs> I'm such a wreck, guys. It's not even funny sometimes. Okay, we're gonna get it all in my sink. I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay, the uh, the the schmuck is still intact, so we're, we're good. We're good, right? Sorry that you can't see it, but the pink is coming out. Things are moving. It's okay. We're gonna do all the pink. Can you see that? Going into the bowl, guys. We're doing all the pink. This looks like a massacre. Like it's just blood in a bowl. I don't even know if the angle is good on the camera. I'm just all out of whack today. I think I ran out of patience. I should have wore gloves. Please wear gloves, even when you're just mixing. Okay, that is what it looks like. Get in there.
you, the color is smacking me in my face. I'm not doing it right. I don't do anything right. So it's okay. It really is an interesting color. It's like cherry cola is the only way I can really describe this color. Okay, it's really weird, but you know. It's better than blue because anything at this point is better than what you don't want. Okay, so now I placed a bag over the head. Um, as you can see, I have stains on like my ear and forehead. You can just get a cotton swab, I think that's what they're called, and um, put some alcohol on it, rub it, and it comes right off. Um, also, stuff is really easy to get off your face, so don't worry about that if it stains. I'm going to leave this on for however long you want. I really, really want the color to stick in, so you can leave it on however long you want. At least an hour, I say. So I'm going to leave this on, and I'm going to go take a Chipotle trip. So, yeah. Okay, I was just a wee bit upset about my little Chipotle mishap. So, yeah. Um, that's that, and this is the hair. I rinsed it out, styled it. My hair is still damaged, but okay, it's not blue anymore. I don't know how I feel about the colors, because it's two different colors. Guess I can build from this now and not just be blue. Okay, if you like this video, this, this hair coloring thing, and you want to see more of me dyeing my hair, just a simpler version, or you like the vlogs or whatever, Give this a thumbs up, comment, you know, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Lay Supreme, and yeah, see you guys.